for checking in at SEA. My name is Perry Cooper. We are here at the elbow to Concourse A, which is also the exit to our brand new International Rivals facility, where you come in and see the information desk. And I'm with Chelsea Rodriguez, who is actually one of our leaders for our volunteers and our information desk. Tell me a little bit about what you do and why this is important. Absolutely. Um, so my role is I'm our airport volunteers and customer accessibility manager. And my role is to support our growing volunteer program, as well as to bring an accessibility lens to customer service here at SEA. And accessibility is a number one priority for us here at SEA, right? What, what is it that our goal is for that? Absolutely. Um, well, our goal is to be the most accessible airport in the nation. Um, but first and foremost, we just want everybody that comes through the airport to have a good experience, to have a positive experience. And certainly that applies to travelers with disabilities as well. Um, so this is our Sunflower Lanyard. Um, so basically, SEA, we were the first airport in the nation to participate in this program where travelers with dis hidden disabilities or invisible disabilities such as autism, PTSD, anxiety, MS, et cetera, can choose to optionally wear this lanyard. And by wearing the lanyard, it indicates to our staff that the wearer or a member in the wearer's party may need additional patience, flexibility, or support. So basically, it allows our um, staff to customize their customer service. Um, also, they are available complimentary at our information desk, including the beautiful A info that we have right here. And then at our main information desk, which is pre-security between checkpoints three and four. And this is absolutely a growing program nationally. Although we were the first, now 30 plus US airports participate and globally over 100 airports participate. Um, it started at Gatwick Airport in England and it's absolutely flourishing. Great to see SEA continuing to lead the way in places as well too. Another thing that we've done here of late too is building some new facilities that helps our accessibility folks too. One in particular in the last year that we've opened, our sensory room. What's that all about? Yeah, so the sensory room, it's just a beautiful, calming space. Um, it's at the um, state train station level underneath the A concourse. And basically, it was built in mind for people who may feel overwhelmed or overstimulated. It has a lot of really great features, such as dimmable lights, a starry lit sky. Um, it has um, furniture that was selected to encourage people to rock, who maybe needs that some sort of output um, to um, calm down. Um, the feedback we have gotten is that this space has been a really great resource prior to a long trip. That is a great resource. And another one that's a good resource that we've had for several years, even before that, has been with our vision impaired folks, our IRA program, which is A-I-R-A. What's that all about? Yeah, so IRA is really a great um, app that is aimed at people who are blind or low vision. And basically with the app, um, people can connect to a virtual agent via their mobile phone. Um, and then the virtual agent um, can give people directions, um, answer questions because the user will show their phone um, and then the virtual agent is able to uh, provide support basically. And what's really great about IRA here at SEA is that users can access it for free um, so they don't use any IRA minutes um, while they're on our Wi-Fi. So we absolutely want to spread the word about this great amenity that's available for people who are blind or low vision. Lastly, there's a reason why I'm actually wearing this fine green jacket, which I don't normally wear. Uh, this represents our Pathfinders and our volunteers, so not necessarily me, but your program folks that are a big, big difference for folks to get information here. Tell me about how that works for everybody and how they can get help. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we can have you know, all the beautiful resources and facility but really it's the people. It's the people that can make a big difference when it comes to how people experience SEA. So we have a wonderful team of Pathfinders who are our customer service employees, and then volunteers um, who work together um, to provide customer support. And they wear the beautiful green um, like you're wearing today. Um, and they're at key locations like our information desks, they're at podiums and kiosks. So our Pathfinders, um, they have access to a language resource where they can um, receive um, interpretation and translation support. And so for it's for a variety of languages, including ASL. So if anyone needs ASL interpretation, they can absolutely go to one of our Pathfinders for support as well. Excellent. And you can find more information on all of our accessibility programs at flysea.org, as well as jump in on our app, our FlySEA app, when you get here or before, ahead of time, it's a great time to check things out as well too. 
So we appreciate your time. Thanks for checking in at SEA, and keep an eye on more videos coming your way.